What's up guys and welcome back to Super Meat Boy. This is the end. It's not really the end though because we still gotta back, go back and do all the dark worlds, collect all the bandages, unlock all the secret characters, but that's what the title of this chapter is. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to play through World 5, and then we're going to go back and start collecting the bandages and the Dark Worlds and all that. And the Warp Zones. I didn't even see those spikes there. But these are supposed to be some of the hardest levels in the game, and... I ain't gonna lie, I'm already kind of feeling the pain from them. What, what's going on here? It's like I'm just dropping out of midair. Is there an invisible wall there or something? No, I'm, I'm gonna die a couple of times, so I gotta figure this out. There's nothing there. It just keeps knocking me out. Well, this is obviously not where I'm supposed to be. Alright, there's a key. Oh. Probably shouldn't have tried to race that. I know I complained a little about this in the last episode, but I kind of wish I had to finish this on the Xbox 360, because where am I going? There, there definitely is a little bit of, a little bit of lag with your inputs. Or just straight up input canceling. Which I'm not going to complain about, because technically, playing 360 on the Xbox One through backwards compatibility is going through an emulator, and even though it's a Microsoft machine running a Microsoft operating system, there's always gonna be well I won't say always but a lot of times that's just something that comes along with running on an emulator is you're gonna have a graphics drop or you're gonna have input messes messing up it is pretty annoying but It just kind of comes with the territory. And unfortunately, there's not really much you can do about it. Alright. Well, obviously, we need to go down here. No, we can't juke it by going the other way. That's a little disheartening. Oh, well, no! Ah! Oh. Too much slide. No, 
Now for the fun part. Getting past all those blades, I thought was going to be a little more difficult. In fact, I was a little worried about this whole, this whole level, but it's not really posing that. Oh, those blades go through the wall. All right, well, still not posing that much of a threat. Now I'm just trying to speed run it and I'm messing up even more than I should be. I feel like that platform just kind of like slowed down for no reason. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That one wasn't bad at all. Oh, I don't even gotta freaking worry about that. I know you can make that jump through there. Gotta be able to make that jump through there. No. 
Nope, 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 nope. Gotta be able to make that jump. Come on. height though and that would be a jump I actually still think it can be done but I will admit I am not good enough at this game to be able to pull it off consistently confused on this one. Pretty sure this is the last level of the light world. Oh, you could fall through that gap. I did not realize that. I can only imagine what the dark world version of this looks like. made it. Oh. I don't even know if that's how you're supposed to do it. I still really think I've seen people go through these two blades up here. to not die because I'll never be able to make that again. Nope. Gotta be a spot where you can make that jump every time. might be coming off of that jump that I just did.
so close. Didn't even jump. There's got to be a, a different way to do this. Too high. So if I jump from that ledge, that's too low. I've got to get more of a direct angle in. Starting to get mad. I might rage quit this on the last level of the light world. Oh, nope, made it. Didn't make it. Ah! just figure out how to consistently get in there I would be good There's just a whole bunch of stuff wrong with that one.
And see, the worst part about it is, is that I know this is going to have to be like a super tight time to get the A+. Plus. And I really feel like I'm taking it too slow. these five worlds and then knock out a dark world but I don't think we're gonna be taking on a dark world today a long time since I hit that one actually have to look up like a shortcut on how to do this one. Oh, is that how you consistently make it in there? I jump just low enough to miss that blade, but high enough to miss the other blade, while also low enough to miss the third blade. Do I even need to get that key? starting to feel like that key isn't necessary. Maybe it is necessary. Maybe I'm thinking of the Dark World where it isn't necessary. Or just a completely different level altogether. Ah! Man, I'm glad I did not do a death counter for this game. <laughs> I'm getting a little ragey, but I'm still very much enjoying this game. This whole playthrough has been really great, because for one, it's very 
nostalgia looking, you know, 2D side scroll platformer. The music is amazing. And it's actually challenging. I'm not saying that modern games aren't challenging, but there's a difference between being hard and being challenging. Like, I equate a game being hard because the, the enemies are, like, beefed up and your weapon sucks. Challenging is when you have something like this where it's actually... You have to get good at the game or just an incredible amount of luck you gotta learn from failure and when you just got beefed up enemies I mean there's nothing saying that you know you can't just like hide in a corner or bypass them completely I mean the original Resident Evil games that that's basically their whole premise it's challenging because you don't have enough ammo to deal with stuff and it's hard because the enemies are strong but you can easily just bypass those enemies god ah ah mm. I mean, actually, the original Resident Evil, that was the idea, was they didn't want you to kill the enemies. They wanted you to find a way around them. And I'll be the first to admit, I'm not good at that. I like to kill the enemies. What? What was that? So close. So close. Come on, come on, this guy, this, we're so close, got, oh, man, what, what, what? That was twice that my jump input just got killed. I feel like the collision detection is not great either. Through the backwards compatibility emulator.
Stop killing my jump! Thirty minutes. Come on. I might have to call it here and we might have to come back to this another day cuz I got somewhere I gotta be in about an hour now I'm messing up on this part took like 500 deaths let's go ahead and uh let's go ahead and see what the dark world version of this looks like okay okay I just completely jumped through that Like it's gonna be pretty gruesome. kill ourselves.
All right, let's go five more deaths and then we'll call it four more. Three more. Two more. Oh. One more, last time. All right. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Maybe. Not really. Anyway, that's gonna be the end of this episode. Um, kind of disappointed. I really wanted to at least knock out one Dark World along with the five Light World levels that we did, but that last one was pretty brutal. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to say. It's it's gonna it's gonna be tough. Um, anyway. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit subscribe if you're new, and like if you did. And if you want to talk about anything, leave it in the comments below. Um, also, uh, if you want to follow on Facebook or Twitter, or if you want to get any merch like this, links are in the description below. And hope you're enjoying having Meat Boy back on the channel, as well as the other Let's Play. And streaming is definitely going to be a regular thing as well, coming soon. More about that in the channel update if it's already been posted. If not, it'll be posted very soon. Anyway, thanks for watching.